Hi everyone! Today we're going to study probability. Let us define probability. The probability defined as the possibility of an event to happen and its formula is equal to the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes and the total number of outcomes. In symbol, we will write probability equals the fraction where the numerator is number of favorable outcomes over the denominator total number of outcomes. Let us now study probability of an event. In particular, we will have probability of an event E. Assume that an event E can occur in R ways out of a sum of N probable or possible equally likely ways. Then, the probability of happening of the event or its success is expressed as P of E equals the fraction R over N. There are notes here that we need to know. For a sample space S and an outcome A of S, the following two properties are satisfied. The first one, the probability of A denoted by P of A is between 0 and 1 inclusive. In the books, you will see the symbol which means this is statement 1. Number 2, the sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes in S equals 1. In symbol, you will see this formula in some statistics books. Let us see some examples. If two dice, one red and one green, are rolled, find the probability that the red die shows a number 3 and the green shows a number 6. For our solution, we will write our table. And since two dice are rolled, there will be 36 possibilities as shown on our table here. Then the 3, 6 is here. Since 3, 6 is one such outcome, the probability of obtaining 3, 6, which means again 3, for the red die and 6 for the green die is 1 over 36. This is our final answer. Example 2. If two dice are rolled, find the probability that the sum of the faces of the dice is 7. Now, let us borrow the same table from our example 1. For the solution, we let E represent the event that the sum of the faces of two dice is 7. Since the possible cases for the sum to be 7 are E equals 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 
4, 3, 5, 2, and 6, 1. Therefore, the probability of the event E is equal to P of E equals the fraction where the numerator is N of E, which means the number of outcomes in E over the denominator N of S, which means the number of outcomes in the sample space. So we have here 6 over 36. And this can be reduced as 1 over 6. This is now our final answer. Let us see example 3. A jar contains 3 marbles numbered 1, 2, and 3. If 2 marbles are drawn, what is the probability that the sum of the numbers is 4? For the solution, since 2 marbles are drawn, the sample space consists of the following six possibilities. S equals 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, and 3, 2. Let the event E represent that the sum of the numbers is 4. Then, out of the sample space, E equals 1, 3, and 3, 1. Therefore, the probability of E is P of E equals the N of E over N of S. And this is equal to 2 in the numerator because there are 2 outcomes in the E over 6 because there are 6 elements in our sample space. We can reduce this to lowest term and this is equal to 1 over 3. This is our final answer. Let us see example 4. Suppose a jar contains 3 red and 4 white marbles. If 2 marbles are drawn, find the following probabilities using a tree diagram. Letter A, the probability that both marbles are red. Letter B, the probability that the first marble is red and the second is white. For our solution, let R be the event that the marble drawn is red. And let W be the event that the marble drawn is white. Now, this is the tree diagram. This point here is the root and there are two branches. At the end of this branch is R and the other is W. These two branches here represents the first draw, which means the probability of taking R or red marble is 3 over 7, while for the white marble, the probability is 4 over 7. Now, on the next branches here, these branches represents the second draw. From the R here, there are two branches, and this branch represents drawing another red, and the probability is 2 over 6. Now, this W is the event of drawing a white marble, and the probability is 
4 over 6. Down here is another pair of R and W. This branch here represents the probability of taking a red marble and the probability is 3 over 6. And down here is the event W which means taking a white marble and the probability is 3 over 6. Now, let us compute for the probability here of taking two red marbles and that is we simply multiply the probabilities as shown in here. So 3 over 7 multiplied by 2 over 6. The answer is 6 over 42. This RW here means taking red marble in the first draw and white marble in the second draw. And that is, we will multiply the probabilities as per our tree diagram. So we have 3 over 7 times 4 over 6. We will get 12 over 42. And down here is WR which represents taking white marble in the first draw and red marble in the second draw. And the probability is the 4 over 7 times 3 over 6. And we have here 12 over 42. And this WW means taking two white marbles for our problem. So we have this 4 over 7 times 3 over 6. And we have here 12 over 42. Now, to answer our problem, letter A, the probability that both marbles are red, which means we will have the P of R, R. And this is equal to this value 6 over 42. Let us simplify this in lowest term. We will have 1 over 7. Next, for letter B, the probability that the first marble is red and the second white. So we have the P of R, W. And this is our answer, the 12 over 42. Let us reduce this to lowest term, dividing by 6, the numerator and the denominator, and the answer will be 2 over 7. So this is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Thank you.